Now, the King Kong stage production re- required complete re-engineering of Melbourne's Regent Theatre infrastructure. Yeah. It, it took six months just to prepare the stage. It requires a crew of 76 to support a cast of 50 actors, singers, dancers, circus performers and puppeteers. On top of this, there are so many elements to the story of King Kong, from very different and conflicting desires of the various characters. The journey to Skull Island, King Kong's escape into New York City and the famous rise and fall from the Empire State Building, let alone logistics. I know. Let alone the logistics of developing Kong and moving him around. Did you ever think to yourself, how am I going to pull this off? Is it even yes. possible? Yes, plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time. In fact, everybody on the team had their moment of going through <laughs> thinking that. Thankfully, we didn't all feel that at the same time. Otherwise, the project just wouldn't have gone ahead. But there is no doubt everyone on that creative team, I think, had their moment. Uh, and I know even the particularly the process of trying to get Kong to fit with the scenery and answer all those questions about how do you get him, how do you get him on and off stage at that mm. moment? How do we do it in a timely way? And I do remember, you know, a few years ago, everyone scratching their head and thinking we're we're just close to it, we can't do it. Um, but as I said, it was generally, thankfully, we all had it happen to us on different days. Mm. <laughs> And, you know, every production meeting, eventually you'd sit in and always in a production meeting, you'd go around every department, sound, lighting, music, projection, mm-hmm. uh, automation, you know, stage design, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, it felt like everyone always started their thing by saying, well, normally our department would do this, but because Kong's so unusual and everything's so new in the approach to music or everything's so new in the way we're doing the projection or everything's so, God, it's not just the creature that's complicated, it's everything. It's everything. Why, why did we have to try and be so new with everything? Um, but look, that's actually... One of my great attractions to this industry and these projects is that there's this phenomenal diversity of minds around the table and it is just problem solving and it's always um, a great reminder that actually everything is solvable Mm. ultimately. It's just chipping away to come up with what that solution is. And the wonderful thing about theatre is, of course, there's so many possibilities to every uh, problem you have to solve. I mean, how do you create a boat? Do you just put people out the front with a few sticks poles together that looks like the front of a ship or do you actually do something that involves a huge amount of automation and delving deep into the theatre floor you know how do you create Kong well we threw out two different prototypes of Kong and started again Mm -hmm. Um, we had a very animatronic hairy gorilla to begin with and then we thought oh people hate that let's get this idea of the King's Men so that Mm -hmm. it feels like he's being brought to life by people well that's been very successful so there's so many different choices you can make um, so yeah, it was very overwhelming. Um, uh, often, by the time we got into the theatre, we had had so much planning and preparation, and really put dollars into development sure. that it just all went very smoothly. So that that was really wonderful, actually. I must say, I really felt very proud of the team, and just goes to show time and effort really does pay off. Uh, um, so yeah, plenty of mornings at three a.m. I would wake <laughs> and think, "Oh my God, what have I done?" <laughs> But, you know, it was very thrilling by the time we got to previews and audiences were actually really liking it and ticket sales are going very well. So, you know, those sort of things really do manage to bring a peaceful night's sleep to people like me. 